12. Good morning, San Antonio. Good Start morning. right now. taking the nine o'clock show on the road today. Steph and I are live out here for this Friday, April 19th. We are Conviva Healthcare up on San Pedro near Rampart. And today is the site of the uh, Fiesta Metal giveaway. And we've got a huge line of people that's been out here since early this morning, Steph. That's right. So uh, we were excited to meet everybody. You know, we, were, we came up here. We weren't sure if there was going to be a line. There was a huge line. And I was going to say Tom and Gracie have been here since 630 in the morning. Thank say you hello, guys. very much. Thank, thank, you. You. thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yes. Thank, thank you. Thank you for waking up yes. early. Thank you for waking up early. So and we're, we're going to get them yes. a medal. That's for sure. So everybody's yes. here for a medal. And we want you to come out, too. There's plenty of time. We're here the entire hour live. This is kind of rare. I don't know if we've ever done this with the nine o'clock no show. no we haven't so this has been a lot of fun already even before the show started we got to meet everybody everybody's ready with their fiesta gear on i have some flowers we have some festive outfits out here yeah. <laughs> and we also have a lot of medals so, <laughs> everybody is in the spirit and we're not the only ones out here tiffany huertas is further down the line here yes. at Viva healthcare tiffany on san pedro and at Robert. rampart she's way and we're going to be talking to Tiffany a little bit later on, but one of the things we're focused on today, Steph, is wondering what's going to happen with the weather. Exactly. I mean, a lot of people are ready for Fiesta. Fiesta, Fiesta worked out. Justin, what about the rest of the events? Yeah, you know, we're, we're looking for some uh, good weather today, guys. Things will improve, and uh, you can see out there with the live shot that we had some clouds, yes, but uh, the temperatures will be about 10 degrees cooler than they were yesterday, so that's an improvement, and it uh, should be really nice. So let me show you the high temperatures across the state today, and you can see the difference that a cold front makes. It's trying to make its way through our area. Now, it pulls up stationary around San Antonio, but it gets temperatures down into the upper 70s. It will still be warm for those uh, south across deep south Texas and obviously much cooler there in north Texas. Let's go outside for you. I am noticing a little bit of drizzle on some of the uh, trans guide cameras and RJ will show you that in just a second. So there could be a little bit of drizzle from time to time this morning. 73 in New Braunfels, 72 in Seguin. And looking at the forecast, we'll call for mostly cloudy conditions today, 74 noontime. And high temperatures only around 78. As we said, just a 10% chance of rain. But boy, everything changes tomorrow as uh, we get uh, better rain chances coming in. So if you're planning out to planning to head out to say Oyster Bay today or taste of New Orleans, you should be just fine. But rain chances start to increase, especially tomorrow afternoon. And that's a point once we could see a few storms as well. Our best odds still Saturday night, but it clears out on Sunday and boy temperatures on Sunday are almost going to be cool. Uh, we'll talk about it. Uh, we'll have that weekend forecast for you. But let's get over to RJ now and check in on traffic. All right, Justin, you mentioned it. Uh, seen some gray skies out there, according to our trans guide traffic cameras. But good news is uh, we are not seeing any major things, but we are having seen seen a few smaller things in the area. We have a stall earlier, I-10 westbound at Crossroads. Also have a stall, I-10 westbound at Vance Jackson. They may have actually cleared that one at Crossroads. So good news there for our folks on the northwest side. We have a stall, I-10 westbound at Loop 410 on the east side of town. You see that we are seeing traffic back up a little bit to Ackerman Road, but uh, we are still seeing traffic get through most parts of the area. Hey, we've been talking all day about uh, two big events taking place, two kicking off for Fiesta, Fiesta Oyster Bake, St. Mary's University. You can take the park and ride to this event. It can take you from the Crossroads location to the campus there at Camino Santa Maria and Cincinnati Street. You can do pick up uh, and drop off there. And we also have the Taste of New Orleans at Sunken Garden Theater. The Crossroads and Randolph Transit Centers will take you to the theater for pickup and drop off in that location. There's also going to be other parking in that area. Make sure to check out the websites for more information. And we also have Fiesta de los Reyes. That is starting out uh, today as well. San Saba, Dolorosa to West Houston. That is shut down throughout the duration of Fiesta. West Commerce Street, Santa Rosa to Pecos La Trinidad. That is shut down through the duration of Fiesta as well. And do not want to forget about this because this is a major closure. It's 1604 and I-10. 1604, both directions starting tonight. That will be shut down until Monday 5 a.m. The four clover leaves also going to be shut down. I-10 East and West, that will stay open. So that's the good news out there. But again, this closure going into place 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. this weekend. A lot going on in the traffic department, but we're also having a lot of fun out there at our Fiesta Metal giveaway. Mark and Stephanie, back to you guys. Yeah. 
Thank you, RJ. Or I should say, thank you, Keitsa Fiesta, RJ. Absolutely. That's what we've been calling him all morning. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so we're live out here with the entire hour Conviva Care Center on San Pedro at West Rampart. We'd love to see you out here for our today's Fiesta Middle giveaway. Yes, and we're going to have much more on that giveaway coming up. But for now, we're going to look at today's 9 at 9. Israel's strike on Iran is threatening to push the Middle East deeper into conflict. After reports of explosions in a city 200 miles south of Iran's capital, it comes five days after Iran fired more than 300 drones and missiles at Israel. The White House has been urging Israel to show restraint in hopes of preventing a larger war, saying if Israel did strike, they would do so alone. The jury is set for the Trump hush money trial. Seven men and five women will decide whether the former president falsified business records to cover up a payment to porn star Stormy Daniels to hide their alleged affair from voters before the 2016 election. Trump's attorney asked the prosecution to provide the names of the first three witnesses that will be called. The prosecution denied the request out of concern that Trump would start posting about them on social media. Five more alternate jurors are needed and opening statements could come Monday. New details this morning about another close call at a major airport as two jets full of passengers nearly missed colliding at Washington's Reagan National Airport yesterday. Investigators say an air traffic controller instructed a Southwest flight bound for Orlando to taxi across a runway. Seconds later, a JetBlue flight started rolling down the same runway, setting both planes on a collision course. The JetBlue pilots quickly aborted takeoff, slamming on the brakes, coming within 400 feet of the other aircraft. An investigation by Consumer Reports revealed that some of the fresh, frozen, and even canned non-organic fruits and vegetables could contain concerning levels of pesticides. Some of the highest levels of pesticides were found in produce imported into the U.S., typically frozen strawberries. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has an extensive review process for all pesticides to ensure they are safe for human consumption. And the FDA is responsible for monitoring and enforcing the EPA's tolerances for pesticides in food, including imported food. Americans are still dealing with the tough housing market as home sales fall and prices climb. The National Association of Realtors reported existing home sales dropped to just over 4 million last month. The decline felt everywhere except the Northeast, which saw an increase for the first time since November. Home sales might not rise much higher as the Federal Reserve signals it won't cut interest rates anytime soon. Mortgage rates topped more than 7% this week, the highest level since November. Netflix made some risky moves last year, but it seems to have paid off. The streaming service cracked down on users sharing passwords, which pushed users to get their own accounts. And now in the first three months this year, Netflix announced it had gained more than 9 million subscribers. That brings Netflix to a record high number of subscribers. Apple has updated iOS 17 to help make your hotel stay more comfortable. A new feature lets you use AirPlay to stream movies from an Apple device directly to your room's smart TV. For now, it's only available at select IHG hotels, but Apple says more will be added soon. Summer is coming up and Pepsi wants to celebrate. The company is introducing two new limited edition flavors, Pepsi Lime and Pepsi Peach. According to the company, the new flavors will punch up the quintessential American barbecue. <laughs> Starting on April 22nd, you can visit betterwithpepsi.com where celebrity chef Bobby Flay will have recipes that pair nicely with Pepsi Lime and Pepsi Peach. Four-time NBA champ and Spurs legend Tony Parker selling his home. The Bernie area mansion comes with six bedrooms, five baths, and a private water park. Right now on KSAT.com, you can take a video tour of the home. Tony Parker's house can be yours for $16.5 million. And that's today's Night at Night. Dozens of people came here this morning, but we also have KSAT viewers remotely joining us. Viva Fiesta! <laughs> Miguel joining us, and Viva Fiesta! The energy this morning is amazing. We have a loyal KSAT viewer. I'm watching. <laughs> She's watching us right now on her phone. What's your favorite part about Fiesta? Everything, everything, because the main thing is 
a lot of the organizations are trying to raise money for their organizations, and they're very good organizations out there. You know, ba any baby can, you know, food bank and stuff. I've donated a couple of food uh, donations in order to get some medals, although I don't have them on me today. But, um, you know, it's a good reason for Fiesta, you know. We're celebrating for a party with a purpose. Right. But we have to take it slow, right? Because it's only day two. Right. So we got to go in easy. We got to go, you know, but we're going to have so much fun. Thank you for joining us. We also have someone here very special. Vivian, good morning. Show good us. Good morning. What is your favorite part about Fiesta? All of it. <laughs> All of it. I don't know which one to choose. You have a lot maybe, of Maybe a night in old San Antonio, maybe. Oh, okay. Maybe the Arster Bay. Okay. Maybe the Strawberry <laughs> Festival. <laughs> I'm telling you, this energy this morning and all the medals, your shirt is beautiful. You Thank look you. fabulous. Thank you. What is your favorite medal here? I, I see a you bunch of them have, over here. I think this one. Okay. This was gifted to me from the my male lady. Oh, I love yeah. that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of that one. Oh, well, yeah. thank you for joining us this You're morning. You're so welcome. And we're going to have so much fun. We'll send it. from the east side, Denver Heights, Texas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Viva Fiesta. Mark Steph, we'll send it back to you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, Tiffany. Uh, that's, yeah. that's true. I was going to say, it's hard to decide which is your favorite Fiesta event. I know which one's yeah. my favorite. Which one's your favorite? The, the hardest one to get, the KSAT medal itself. Oh, yes, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. of course. All right, so uh, we've got much more to come here from 7142 San Pedro Conviva Care Center up here on the north side, just south of North Star Mall. We do have to take a break, but we are just getting started here on GMSA at 9. That's right. And for now, let's go ahead and look outside with live cam. And as we can feel out here at this event, it is humid out there, so prepare for that. But you know, you know what? Still not too bad. We're in the 70s and we'll be right back. Good morning and welcome back. We are here at Conviva Care Center off of San Pedro. And was lucky enough to win all five KSAT medals. So that's one of the benefits of showing up at this Fiesta Medal giveaway. Yes, that's right. Tom got here at 6.30 this morning. So the early bird does get the medal. <laughs> and the worm. <laughs> and the worm. That's and the right. worm. Everything. All right, so our eyes are on the sky as we head into the first full weekend of Fiesta. And meteorologist Justin Horn is standing by with that all-important Fiesta forecast. Justin, take it away. Yeah, Steph, don't forget to save me a medal. Remember I asked earlier this morning? We'll see. Uh, a lot of folks here, we love it, uh, that we can celebrate Fiesta with you. And what does a Fiesta forecast look like? Uh, well, today's not so bad. 72, dew point is at 68. So yes, it's still humid, but notice this stat right here. Northeasterly winds at 8 miles per hour. It tells us we've got a little bit of a frontal boundary coming through, and that's going to cool us down tonight. Temperatures are going to be far more tolerable this afternoon than they were yesterday when we got up to near 90 with heat indices in the low 90s. There's a look at the satellite picture. We do have a lot of clouds. We had some breaks earlier, but now we are overcast through much of San Antonio with thick clouds up in the hill country, some breaks down towards Carrizo Springs. And in fact, that's more of one of our warm spots. 75 there, 76 in Del Rio, 73 in New Braunfels, but 64 in Austin, 64 in Fredericksburg. And in the low 70s, low to mid 70s here in San Antonio right now. And what you'll see today are cooler numbers to the north and then warmer numbers to the south. This frontal boundary will come through, pull up stationary, and it all depends on where it sets up. But I think here in San Antonio, uh, we'll probably stay in the upper 70s. And then you'll see some of those warmer readings like uh, Pearsall uh, today, where they can get up close to 85 degrees. Uh, looking at the Fiesta forecast for Oyster Bay and Taste of New Orleans, things get underway at 5 o'clock today, last till 11. We're thinking uh, temperatures will fall down into the mid 70s by 7 o'clock, 71 by 10 p.m. Yes, there is a chance for a straight shower, but I wouldn't worry too much about it today. Uh, it should be pretty nice weather with mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, a little bit of a different story. Let me walk you through the forecast here. Here comes the front. This is 4 o'clock today. Notice there's not much there. Yes, there could be a shower or two along the boundary. But as we get into tonight, we first have got to watch what happens out west. We could get some of those storms developing in the mountains of Mexico, as we sometimes see. And they may try to cross over into Del Rio or towards Eagle Pass. We saw a little bit of that last night. 
Uh, these storms would have the potential to be strong, so we would watch that. Uh, the question would be, would it hold on all the way to San Antonio? Probably not. This computer model shows some of that rain making it here by tomorrow morning. We'll see. Uh, as we get into tomorrow morning, some drizzle possible, a few showers. Things are actually pretty quiet around noontime tomorrow, but by the afternoon, we start to see things flaring up as uh, storms work in from the north. And this is around 10 o'clock, shows some fairly widespread showers and storms. That'll continue through midnight to about 2 a.m. And then a lot of this will start to scoot east. And other than a few leftover light showers Sunday morning, we'll say goodbye to the rain. And then it turns cooler and windy. There is a small severe weather threat tomorrow. Uh, gusty winds and hail uh, main threats. But this area is shaded in yellow. That's where we could see a strong storm or two. I think the bigger issue perhaps could be some pockets of heavy rain, although uh, rainfall totals are not going to be, you know, just huge. We're talking a half an inch to an inch in San Antonio, maybe some pockets close to two inches in the hill country if we're lucky. Uh, but it is an area, especially uh, this area from Kendall County over to Kerr County, where we need some rain and this could fall in the right spot. So this could be good for us. Bernie, Bandera, Kerrville, hoping to see some pretty good rain out of this system by tomorrow afternoon. So here it is. Uh, 74 tomorrow, 60% chance of rain, and then 70% chance uh, Saturday night. We start to clear out on Sunday. It turns windy and cooler. 67, that's cool by April standards. Monday looks great, 75 low humidity, and then we'll start to add some rain chances back into the forecast by the middle and end of next week. All right, let's go over to Tiffany now. <laughs> We're having so much fun. Viva! energy but I want to show you here you meet so many different people and I just received two beautiful medals I just want to show them for you real quick we have here the Vietnam Veterans of America the Alamo chapter 366 how beautiful is that and then we have another one here the military order of the Purple Heart chapter 1836 simply amazing I want to introduce you to some folks up here they're having so much fun and they're ready to fiesta about fiesta meeting you metal buddies yeah. and oh my god it's been a blast you come to these events and you run into the same wonderful people and it just gets better and better this is my second time my oh. second year and and meeting wonderful people oh. like you oh thank you what's your favorite part meeting all the ksat crew i love the ksat crew everyone Oh, yeah, we took selfies. Yes, yes we did. Yes. Yes. Keeping it for life. Yes, we did. So just one of your favorite events this year. Where are you going to go to this year? Another Fiesta event? I went to Fiesta Fiesta last night. That's it for me. <laughs> I'm going to Oyster Bake tonight. Okay. So I'm hoping to get some more medals, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah, y'all yes, are going to have so much fun, and it's going to be a party with a purpose, of course. Yeah, so we time. have to talk about that because uh -oh. it's all about nonprofits giving back, yeah. the community coming together. Even yeah. schools are raising money for their different programs. So Amen. we're all excited to participate, and we're going to take it slow. We're going to go, you know, have fun, but day by day, we can't go crazy. You'll be back. I know you will. Okay. <laughs> we'll send it yes. off to you guys. Oh, oh, hi. Hi, we're, we're hi back. Tiffany. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, we, you, we you cut out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're still here out here at uh, Kaviva Care Center. And thank you to Kaviva. You guys yes. are awesome. Yeah. Thank you. You're, you're great hosts. And don't forget the medal giveaway continue. We're, we're yes. running low on wristbands. Yes. But you can uh, see the people are getting them.
And welcome back live. We're out at uh, Cadiva Care Center on San Pedro, just south of North Star Mar. It is packed out here today for today's Fiesta Metal giveaway. And we just wanted to show you the, the whole collection. Yeah. And we haven't even seen some of these before. This is, so. this is the first time I'm, I'm taking a look at them. So this is, we've been talking about it like on the morning show for some time that we have all these different case set metals. So this yeah. is the first time we get to, to see them up close. All right, so here's the main case at yes. Fiesta Metal. Uh -huh. And then we have the SA Live Metal. You're welcome, Mike. Uh, <laughs> then we also have the Adam Kasky medal, which has the cool oh, yeah, the spinning, spinning, the spinning feature. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah so that's pretty cool. Very cool. And of course, we have our KSET weather team, which with is the, right the, lo up. the lovely ladies up front and center. On a smartphone. And, and Justin, you're lovely yeah. too, of course. Yep. Uh, and then, of course, yeah. This one's awesome. This is Look super at David cool. Elder. David Elder and his medal. For and, Texas Eats. And so the wheels the wheels move, actually, right here. So that that's is so <laughs> cool. Super cool. So they're, they're hot property. They're, they're tough to get. Yes. But we've got more giveaways coming up through Fiesta. Hey, That's by the right. way, don't forget to get your tickets for our special parties for the parades. You can scan the QR codes on your screen to buy tickets. You can choose between Battle Flowers or the Flambeau Parade, or you can get tickets to both. Why not? Besides getting a great seat for the parade, you also get food, drink tickets, and a chance to hang out with some of us, the KSAP family. So it's going to be a lot of fun, and we hope to see you out there. Yeah, don't forget, Mark and I are going to be broadcasting the Battle of Flowers Parade. This is next Friday in the morning. And then Stephania Jimenez and Myra Arthur, they're going to be broadcasting the Flambeau Parade at night on Saturday. You can also find all of this information, just in case you forget, on our website at kset.com. Well, Steph, speaking of parades, there are going to be a lot of road closures on those days. Let's go ahead and check back with RJ to see what we can expect. We're standing at the corner of Brooklyn and North St. Mary's and we're in the bleachers and you know what that means. It is Fiesta Parade time. This year's Battle of Flowers Parade and the Fiesta Flambeau will start near San Antonio College and wind all the way to near West Martin Street, but there are gonna be a lot of closures in between. Here's what you need to know. The route for the parades is 2.6 miles long and will go down North Main Avenue to Lexington and the corner of St. Mary's and Brooklyn. It will then head towards Alamo Plaza, Commerce Street, go past San Fernando Cathedral and wind down at Santa Rosa at West Martin. And you can expect these closures early Friday morning through the afternoon for Battle of Flowers and then early evening to late Saturday night for Flambeau. For more information on all things Fiesta, including how you can get a ticket to our KSAT Insider Parties for the Battle of Flowers and the Fiesta Flambeau Parades, all you gotta do is head over to ksat.com slash Fiesta. Viva Fiesta! Back out here live. This doesn't even feel like work today. I know. This is the fun part. Getting out the metal. Hi, guys. Thanks for coming. Yeah, again, we're at Conviva Care Center. It's like, a, people. it's like a Spurs pep rally out here. <laughs> so much fun. Oh, we have so much, much more to fun. come here on DMSA at 9. That's right. So still ahead, David and RJ are going to take a look at our weekend sports. Sammy. We'll be right back. Hi, welcome back. We are at Conviva Care Center off of San Pedro. This is just one of our Fiesta Metal giveaways we're going to be having throughout the uh, party with a purpose here in the coming weeks. Yes. And uh, I tell you, have you guys uh, thought about using Conviva Fiesta? Have you guys put that yeah, together? Yeah, all okay. together. All right. That's a, okay. <laughs> all right. Conviva, Conviva. Well, th thanks again for hosting. And I tell you yeah. what, great day out here just south of North Star Mall. Uh, Tiffany Wertz is standing by live to talk to one of our friends from Conviva. Thanks, Tiffany. Hey guys, Viva Fiesta! Viva Fiesta! <laughs> the energy is very high here this morning. We have Genevieve Muniz, Director of Community Engagement. This is an awesome party here. Oh tell my us, goodness. tell we us more it. about 
this organization. Yes, yes. So Conviva Care Centers, we offer senior-focused primary care here in San Antonio. We love being part of the community. We love seniors. We love Fiesta. We want to keep our seniors healthy so they can do more Fiesta like this. There are over 300 Conviva Care Centers across yes, the nation. 300 locations across the country. Here in San Antonio, we have 18 locations. We have 10 community centers where we do lots of parties, activities. Everything is free, so come visit us. And it's like a family here. Everyone oh gets gosh. to know each other. Yes, yes. We are all, you know, I'm born and raised in San Antonio. Our medal actually reminds me of my grandpa. Hi, grandpa. Can we see that yes, medal? yes. We have our Conviva 2024 medal with a mariachi and our senora there. So we are so <laughs> proud of this little medal. And they are free to seniors. Oh, <laughs> and we. This one is actually for you to add to Thank your collection. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. This is so amazing. You all have the energy for Fiesta. Yes, we love Fiesta. I'm getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Yes, the yes. party continues now for message for others that maybe are interested in yes, coming we here. We invite you to come take a tour. Go to findconviva.com. We have 18 locations across the area. Welcome. We welcome you to come check us out, meet our doctors, meet our staff. We have a doctor at every location and we just want to help keep our seniors Woo! healthy so they can party, party, party and have a good time and a great life. And you're hearing that, <laughs> that energy, the party continues here. And I just wanna show you really quick, this is the medal if you missed it. We showed it to you earlier. This is the Vietnam Veterans of America medal we got earlier. And this is another one right here. But this is a new one I also just got. This is beautiful. This is the Fiesta Castle Hills medal, 2024. And of course, look, this is a St. Anthony School medal. So all of this goes back to different programs. The medals that you purchase goes back to the organization. So it is a party with a purpose and we'll send it back to you. Thank you, Tiffany. We really appreciate it. And let's go ahead and look out there with live cam. Super humid this morning. That's what I can tell you about the weather. That, <laughs> we can tell that. That's a fact. Uh, rain or shine, the party is on. We'll be back out here live a little bit later on as we take a look out. It's a great day here in San Antonio. We'll be right back. Oh, Justin. <laughs> there we go. Uh, it's some Friday vibes out there at Conviva. You know, it's uh, Fiesta Friday. We are excited. A lot of enthusiasm out there, and we love that. Uh, I want to show you the satellite picture, and you saw the clouds there on live cam, but uh, you can see them here very nicely. And the clouds are kind of lining up along a frontal boundary, which is making a difference. You can almost detect that frontal boundary as it's moving into Bear County now. Uh, what this will do for us is cool us down a little bit today, but it also pulls up stationary, so you're going to see a lot of varying temperatures across the area today. A lot of it will depend on the clouds and where this front ends up. Uh, but as we look at the big picture here, there is rain on the East Coast, some snow across the uh, Rocky Mountains, and then here in Texas, quite a bit of clouds with that front. Pollen count is in. Hey, good news here. Oak is gone, but pecan moves up to moderate the moderate category today for whatever reason. It's at 120. Molds are low at 400. Here's our forecast. Noontime, 74. Staying mostly cloudy. Temperatures only make their way up to about 78 today. So a change, about a 10 degree change from yesterday. Only a small chance of a shower or two as we head into the afternoon. And if you're heading out to Oyster Bay or Taste of New Orleans tonight, looks good. Temperatures in the mid 70s. There is, again, an outside chance for a shower or two. But those rain chances really start to pick up tomorrow. And tomorrow's going to be our day if we're going to get some decent rain. Uh, we're going to talk about when and where and what you can expect on Sunday, too. So we'll have more changes then. All of that's coming up in just a couple minutes. David. All right, Justin, thank you. We're going to get back to the medal giveaway party Ooh, in just a second. But I want to get yeah. you up to date on what's going on this weekend mm -hmm. sports wise here in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. And of course, the NBA playoffs are in yes. full swing. We got rid of those playing game things. <laughs> I think we say still like two have, tonight. Yeah, yeah, still have two tonight. So, uh, first of all, David, remember when the Spurs and Fiesta used to very uh, much like run yeah. and be synonymous? Yeah. Oh, man, we've missed those days, but hopefully we'll get Ooh. our guys back into the playoffs here pretty soon. You go to a Spurs game and then go to Niosa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or vice versa. Go to Niosa and then come oh, yeah. over to the Spurs game. <laughs> yeah, remember those guys. Uh, those are some, some fun times. Uh, hopefully one day.
we get back. Like yes. Uh, do we have this video? Steph Curry. Yes. Yeah. Okay, David. Oh, there man. are. There is some online chatter. A betting website has Steph Curry and the Spurs potentially becoming uh, one altogether, according to this site. If he leaves Golden State, your thoughts, David? So uh, I don't think it ever happened. That's my, <laughs> that's my that's my thought on that one. I don't know if Steph Curry uh -huh. ever come come to San Antonio. Although, I mean, if you look at the team, a bunch of youngsters on there that he could guide and maybe even guide into uh, their first championship, and he'd mm. get him another ring playing with Victor Wimbanyama. So hey, I, would be a bad thing. Yeah. But I just, I don't I don't see him leaving Golden State really. No, don't see this happening at all. But you know what? It do, it is interesting because now we're seeing these rumors just yeah, to just show saying. the Wemby effect of basically, uh, you know what? We're going to get guys that may be interested in playing with Victor down the stretch. I don't think the Steph thing is going to happen, but you never know. Well, if you remember, go back to the Tim Duncan day, mm -hmm. days when the summers would come around and not all the start – the rumors would start flying about who might come want to play with Tim Duncan yes. and, and all this kind of stuff. So, although this could be the year that the Spurs actually make some moves in the offseason if they want to, if they want to get this thing, you know, up yeah. another level yeah. or two playoffs. We so. definitely need to because we need yep. Fiesta and Spurs together. All right, Dave, you I mentioned see. the play-in game, so we have a couple right. here. Bulls heat. All right, you know. <laughs> Kings Pelicans, last two playoff spots on the lines, and we have a full slate of NBA action throughout the weekend. Yeah, everybody get started uh, this weekend. Here that you want to touch on, David? With the first round, the real first round. This is not the real first. <laughs> this is like the sub first mm -hmm. round. So then tomorrow, it's the real first round, and we got a lot of great ones right here on, on KSAT 12. Look at Magic and Cavalier, Cavaliers. That's uh -huh. at noon tomorrow on ESPN, and also on ESPN Suns and Timberwolves. That's going to be an interesting matchup. There's a lot of interesting matchups in the first round. Yeah. So, and 76ers and Knicks, that'll be fun. Lakers and Nuggets. Mm -hmm. Lakers, what are they, the seventh seed that got in? The seventh seed. And the Nuggets are two. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be an interesting defending matchup. Champs. Nuggets get the whole the home court advantage, and they're the defending champs. Yep. OKC, okay, the number one seed um, in the West. So absolutely, yeah, and that game will be on KSAT 12. A couple more games on KSAT this Sunday. The Celtics still waiting to find out who they're going to play, and then Kawhi Leonard, he is uh, with the Clippers taking on the Dallas Mavericks. David, both those games on KSAT 12 on yeah, Sunday. Chicago and Miami still have to play to see who's going to take on Boston, so... And then you've got those, yeah, those are the two ones. Yeah, the Thunder, Yee, man. Interesting, young team. We've talked about all season how they're kind of the template for the Spurs. They, they built this team up with a bunch of young guys, and here they are, number one seed. Let's see if they can uh, get all the way to the uh, NBA Finals. Yes, we will see. All right, all right. David, uh, Brahma's time. Hey, remember yesterday we had Wade Phillips, head coach with Brahma's on. He's decked out in all his Fiesta medals. They're coming down to San Antonio this weekend to maybe enjoy a little Fiesta and then play the game tomorrow night. Absolutely, yes. Taking on the Michigan Panthers, 6 o'clock at the Alamo Dome. And they have a, a ticket and medal package. I think we yeah. have one of the graphics. All there, right, there, there is their medal. Here we go. The dome right there, the shape of a football, San Antonio Brahma's football. Getting Ready into that uh, Fiesta spirit. Good for them. <laughs> and, uh, of course, Quentin Dormandy, Dormandy from Bernie yes, sir. is uh -huh. going to be the starting quarterback mm -hmm. tomorrow night. So we've got a local, local youngster in there trying to show off what he can do. So that'll yes. be fun tomorrow night. So uh -huh. see, it's Fiesta. Got a local kid. <laughs> Quarterback in. It's at the Dome tomorrow night, 6 yep. o'clock, right? Bernie's own. Bernie's own. So there we go. Nice. All right. So that's just some of the stuff you can do this weekend, along with like all the parties going on with Oyster Bake, Taste New Orleans, New Orleans, all that kind of stuff. Yep. And of course, another chance to get a medal. Always chances to get medals down here. Here's your chance right there. Mark Steph. Hi. Thanks. Welcome back to Conviva Care. For sure, everybody's in the fiesta spirit. Yes, everybody's ready to go in their fiesta gear, and we'll be right back. Your 2024 Fiesta Royalty, powered by your local San Antonio area Chevy dealers. I'm Katia Lopez, Miss San Antonio 2024. Meet this year's Miss San Antonio. I was born in San Antonio, so it's obviously a place I feel very close to. 
big Spurs fan. And also just there's an amazing sense of community in this town. It is one of the biggest towns in the country, but it still has that connectivity and a great sense of community. Katia is a fine arts student at the University of Texas in Austin, and she's just months away from competing for Miss Texas and hopefully one day Miss America. She says her passion for giving back inspired her to take part. I think the biggest portion for me was the idea of philanthropy and volunteering. My current service initiative is called Hearts for Art. I am an acting student and I've been participating in theater since I was a little girl. So I try to advocate for arts education in schools that might not have the funding to do that. Her personal mission fits right in with the party with a purpose. I'm so excited. My stepbrother was on the band at Brandeis High School, and so I remember coming to watch the Battle of the Flowers parades and hearing all the bands come, and it was just such an amazing experience. I've always known Fiesta ever since I was a little girl to be this place of where everyone could come and enjoy a good time, where it was colorful and bright. I'm definitely excited for the river parade. I'm a little nervous because I don't want to fall in, but I feel like we should be all good. Viva Fiesta! <laughs> and taking a live look at Zoo Cam, it's always a great day to go to the zoo, and the zoo is getting ready for Fiesta 2. They'll be holding their official Fiesta event next weekend on the 27th and 28th. So this is Festival de Animales, celebrates animals, culture, and conservation. So make sure to join them for some Fiesta fun again next weekend. <laughs> Welcome back. Back out here live at the Viva Care Center on this weekend. That's right. I mean, and we're all just like watching the sky right now, Justin. What? Oh, no. Uh, no it looks like a lot, of, a lot of fun out there. Uh, yes, we are watching the skies uh, because we're hoping uh, that uh, some of this rain works its way in between our events. Uh, but I will tell you tomorrow, our best opportunity uh, to get some rain. Here's the dew point forecast. And after yesterday, we could take a drop in dew points, make it feel a little bit better out there. Uh, we're starting off humid, yes, but as a front works through today, we're going to see dew points drop off into the 60s a little bit later this afternoon. And even going into tomorrow morning, dew points will be a little bit lower, a little more tolerable than yesterday. And part of that has to do with the wind direction. We're getting those uh, north and northeasterly winds now. Thanks to that frontal battery that's coming through. Now it's not kicking up the winds all that much, but it's the direction of the wind that is making a difference here. And with more of a northeasterly flow today, that again will allow those dew points to drop off a little bit. As we go outside for you, we've got cloudy skies over the airport, 72 there, 70 in New Braunfels. And temperatures have actually dropped a little bit in Bernie and Kerrville, and that is due in large part to that front. Uh, 64 in Bernie, 68 in Kerrville right now. And our forecast today, noontime 74, so we don't warm up all that much uh, with mostly cloudy skies. And in fact, we top out only around 78 degrees. There is a very, very small chance for shower. With that front around today, we can't rule it out. Uh, but the odds of seeing rain are very, very low. So as you head out to your evening plans tonight, whether it be a fiesta event or you're just going out on the town, you should be just fine. Easterly winds will pick up a little bit, 10 to 15 miles per hour. There's a satellite picture. Now, we are starting to see some breaks in the clouds across the southeastern portion of the county and the city. Uh, so the sun may pop out from time to time today. We're going to call it mostly cloudy, but uh, with any sort of sun, that will uh, help temperatures a little bit. But what it will be fighting, uh, or what the, the difference that will be made is that, that front. And it's because that cooler air is working in uh, behind that boundary. You can see it here uh, with the state temperatures. 53 right now in Abilene. It's 44 in Amarillo, 48 in Lubbock. And then south of the boundary, you got 70s and 80s. So this front is making a difference. And it will uh, pull up stationary after it moves through San Antonio. So with it around this afternoon, yes, there could be one or two showers uh, by tomorrow or by tonight. I should say we'll watch for some storms that may be coming in from the west. Now, uh, as these come in from Mexico, they could be strong to severe. So folks in Del Rio and in Eagle Pass need to watch this. Uh, I think these probably fall apart as they move towards San Antonio, although this particular model brings a little bit of rain in early tomorrow. 
Uh, we could see a few showers, maybe some drizzle Saturday morning. And then by midday Saturday, it's actually pretty quiet. We're going to start to see showers and storms building to our north. But by the afternoon, they'll slide south. And by, say, 5, 6 o'clock, we're seeing better chances of rain, with rain chances really peaking Saturday night. This is 10 p.m. I think we'll see widespread showers and storms. By 2 o'clock, these are starting to push east, 2 a.m. And by very early Sunday morning, other than a few light showers, we'll see the rain sort of come to an end. And then uh, we'll get some gusty winds, and it will be cooler on Sunday. Rainfall potential, I'm thinking half an inch to an inch here in San Antonio. There could be some higher totals in the Hill Country, areas that desperately need the rain. So it is welcome. I don't think we're going to have widespread flooding issues, but there could be a few spots where localized flooding is a problem, maybe some minor street flooding. 74 Saturday, 60% chance of rain, mainly late in the day, 70% chance Saturday night into Sunday morning. And then windy and cooler. Know that Sunday is going to be a day that's not going to feel very much like April, 67. 75 Monday, 82 Tuesday, that's when humidity starts to come back. And then we'll see some rain chances coming back into play by the middle and end of next week. All right, Mark and Stephanie, it's, it's still... Great, by the way. Huh? Thank you. Thank you, Justin. We are getting to the end of our Fiesta Medal giveaway this morning, but you have a chance to get a Texas Each Medal this afternoon. David Elder will be out at Ikea and Live Oak handing out medals. You can start lining up for those today at noon. And don't forget about that Adam Kasky Medal. You can get one later today at Christus Children's. Adam will be out there this afternoon. You can start lining up for that medal at 4 p.m. And, of course, Adam will be live during our evening newscast. And we're checking in now with the man of the hour. He's been lined up since before the uh, early edition of GMSA, <laughs> and he's taken a bunch of medals home. Look at that. So this is Tom. Tom, congratulations for being the first person in line. Yeah, it's great to see your smiling faces today. Oh, oh it's good you, to Tom. see you Thanks out here, too. Here. And congratulations on getting yes, all the medals yes. this year. can say is wow the turnout today has been unbelievable we got Tiffany Huertas now with us now Ooh, hi, Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany you have your beautiful fiesta color on yes, yes I want to I want to show you two medals I know Mark you're gonna love these two the crowd is loud over here as well but take a look at this one this is the Military City USA. Right. Awesome. We've met so many different people from veterans, from teachers, we've met just people from all different parts of San Antonio. We've had so much fun and there's still a line outside. Yes, there are. <laughs> and then more people are coming in. They've been lined up since early this morning. It's so nice to see all your smiling faces. So thank you for being here and all all right, don't forget, we have more middle giveaways coming up next week, and you can scan the QR code at the bottom of your screen for a complete Fiesta guide. KSAT has you covered. What is your favorite part of today? Meeting our viewers. Yes. Um, they are yes. just as amazing as, as, as we thought. Yes. yes, we were excited to meet them in, in person because, you know, sometimes we're, we're you know, we're at the studio, well, you know this, and then we were like, is anyone really out there? Yeah, <laughs> so I'm taking here. you guys on the road. I mean, see you next week. It's a tour. Yeah, we love next tour. year we need a bus. Thank you. Yeah, it's so nice to meet you guys. Thank you. Thank guys. you. Thank and you thank you to Conviva. You guys have been awesome. Thank you. To everybody behind the scenes, our producer Alex, thank our you, photographer Alex. Asian. Thank you, Asian. To our boss Ashley over there, <laughs> Megan, thank you very, very much. <laughs> Viva Fiesta, back. South Texas. Thank this has been you. awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a great weekend. Be safe and Viva Fiesta San Antonio.